Today I have a very, very interesting story for you. Um, you all probably know Flex Wheelie. If you are into bodybuilding or a fan of professional bodybuilding, you have to know Flex Wheelie. Flex Wheelie mainly competed in the 90s. He is seen as the uncrowned Mr. Olympia. One of the best Mr. Olympias ever. I mean, look at him. King of Symmetry, Sultan of Symmetry. Won the Arnold Classics like four times. Never, you know, won the Olympia, but was damn near to win it a lot of times, a couple of times. So these are pictures of his prime. This is how we know Flex Wheeler. Okay. These are some pictures. Probably they are not even the best pictures, but, you know, this is not a video about Flex Wheeler's prime. So this is the most known picture probably of Flex Wheeler ever being made. Okay. But, you know, the sad story is um, a lot of people say that Flex Wheeler could never reach his full potential because um, in the later career, so he basically mainly competed in the two, uh, in the 90s and some contests in the early 2000s. To be exact, you know, they were not that much. So his main focus was on the 90s. And um, after the 2000s, Mr. Olympia very placed third behind Ronnie and Kevin Leroni, so he was still top three of the world, and he did some great contests after that. You can check it here on his contest history. After the 2000 Olympia, he got third, then a Grand Prix where he got first, the Arnold Classic where he got first, and the Ironman Pro where he got second. But then he had some serious, serious health issues. Probably a lot of you guys know it with his kidney failure, um, low testosterone levels after you know being on for that long. A lot of thing, but it was mainly his the kidney issue that his kidney failed, and he retired from bodybuilding after the 2000 Olympia and some of you know after these contests I basically previously mentioned, and he took you know you know not a year off but two. So we all thought okay, but you know I was a very very little child back then, but the bodybuilding fans back then they thought that okay it is over. Um, he didn't show up at the 2001 Olympia or Arnold Classics. But then, uh, when you look at his biography, you see that he showed up. He did his last two shows ever of his career. He did show up at the 2002 Mr. Olympia. He did a comeback. And then the 2003 Ironman Poe in the Invitational. But why I am doing the video, the, the legend is, the myth is that, you know, and they said it back then that Flex Wheeler did the 2002 Mr. Olympia naturally. So I will talk a lot of, um, a little bit of Flex Wheeler. Flex Wheeler in his prime was something around 245, 245 pounds. And when he did a comeback, um, he was 225, 225 pounds. So he was obviously a little lighter. Not only a little, but 20 pounds. And I have, of course, some pictures of that appearance, how he looked. And I will do some commentary on that. So this was Flex Wheeler at his last Mr. Olympia ever, where he supposedly competed natural. I have some funny, you know, things at the end of the video about this, where his coach back then um, says some one words on his comeback. So he had a coach when he did the comeback. Um, but I will, I will firstly show you pictures of his 2002 Olympia appearances. These are pictures of MuscleTime.com. MuscleTime has a lot of great pictures, a lot of rare pictures, um, which you not always see. So this was Flex. He was a lot lighter, but he was still, you know, nothing um, like a typical gym rat or something like that. He still managed to play seventh at that contest. So he was not only in the top 10, but in the top 7 of the best bodybuilders of the world. So look at his legs. And he still, you know, had, you know, quite a good mass. But it was not Flex best showing at the Olympia. That's obvious, okay? And I already mentioned that he had a coach and his coach was Milo Sarsev. So... Um, I really found it surprisingly because I did some research on NASA and the video title is even, you know, Milos Sarges talks about NASA, flex and insulin. <laughs> so I, I already made a video about NASA, a NASA story with Greg Kovac, which you can, which you can watch on my channel. But then 
Milos also talked on Flex Wheeler because he was his coach and if he was natural or not at the 2002 Miss Olympia. It's quite funny, so just give it a listen. Yeah, yeah, for actually his last contest. Uh, this is a story, and uh, uh, I'm sure that you guys would uh, get kicked out of it. 2002, uh, Flex was drug free, remember? Right, I remember he was going natural, yeah. Supposedly. <laughs> Jack free for five minutes. Okay, I'm, I'm Jack free since uh, 8 o'clock this morning. But anyway... Uh... So this was um, basically Milo's opinion. So, you you know, it's obvious that he says that uh, Flex Wheeler was not drug free, okay? It is a great myth. It is, you know, very, very cool for the fans to think that. But, you know, when Milo says that... Um, I think he doesn't BS, he doesn't bullshit, he's probably true, okay, he was his coach, he saw what he did, he saw what he did not, what I think is that he, um, he did it more healthy, he probably used less, he probably used not everything, he probably, you know, cut out even some of the pre-contest steroids or something like that, but he was still very, very, very much not natural, okay, but this is not, um, this is not me bullshitting flex or you know fucking up his legacy he is one of the greatest ever um sadly he had the kidney issues the health issues but you know we body feeling fans we should deserve to know the truth and i think you know milos maybe does not tell the truth every time i don't know it i don't know milos personally but i believe it when he says that so he made a joke out of it and this is Milo's opinion, and I, um, I, you know, I support that opinion. I sign his that opinion. I think he wasn't drug free. What do you think? I think this is obvious. Okay, this is obvious. This was a you know, a media story, maybe a marketing story. You know, to to put some fire under it to make it more interesting. Um, write your comments in you know write your opinion into the comments subscribe to my channel and if you like more of that you know legacy um legendary videos talking about the old times talking about past events um write it write your opinion i have to know what you guys want and if you like this please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day